Earth is quite a big place. It is not the largest planet, yet it is the largest solid planet in the solar system. The diameter of Earth is 12,700 kilometers, and if that were to change, it would cause quite a large number of consequences. If the whole Earth would shrink by half, that would mean that the Earth would be 6,350 kilometers in diameter, and its gravity would likely be half the current Earth's gravity, going from 9.81 meters per second square to 4.9 meters per second square, meaning everything would fall half the speed on the surface. This would make the Earth even smaller than Mars by a bit, but Earth's gravity would still be stronger than that of Mars. So then the Earth would be the second smallest planet in the solar system. Now, if the Earth shrinked in size by half, what would actually happen? So let's assume that buildings and alive things somehow stayed the same size, but the Earth shrinks. So at first, a human would not notice that much difference, besides the fact that everything would fall very slowly. But it would also mean that we would need less amount of energy to move around, making walking very easy and we would as well jump a lot higher. Setting a foot on a scale, we would notice that we would be half the weight. This is because scales measure kilograms per force. The less force our body puts on a scale, which is determined by gravity, the less kilograms would the scale show but it would seem kind of normal in the beginning. A while later, because of lower gravity, big part of the atmosphere would fade away into space, since gravity could not hold it. Now, it doesn't really mean that half of the atmosphere would go away, but humans should be able to survive with consequences. But this atmosphere could be fatal in the long run, since trees and plants rely on wind to spread around, and since there would be many times less wind, Less of the vegetation would be available, which provides us with oxygen, meaning oxygen would be less and less common, and could possibly cause many species, including humans, to suffocate. But trees that successfully reproduce and grow, will grow to be almost double the height than previous trees, since gravity would be half, half of the energy would be needed for a tree to get water from the root, meaning trees would be quite tall, going from their maximum 120 meters to likely over 200 meters, if they survive. They will be taller than many buildings. For other humans that get to survive, they will be exposed to long-term low gravity, which would make bones less dense, making those humans very weak, and could cause a number of health problems. But it would also make them a bit taller, since less of the gravity would act on them. Temperatures as well could become very extreme going from at least minus 1 celsius at night to plus 25 celsius a day, maybe even worse than that. Since less of the pressure would be inert, water would boil at a lower temperature, likely at around 60 to 50 celsius, so this would as well have drastic effects on the sea. Moon would appear a bit smaller in the sky, and because of lower gravity, moon and earth would create a barycenter, a center of mass making Earth's orbit just a bit around the moon, and this would cause the length of the day to change by a bit. And just over time, the surface of the Earth would be less and less alive, more species would go extinct, and humans that survive would need to carry oxygen masks and suits to keep a normal temperature. The surface would be many times less green, causing changes to the looks of the Earth from space. Oceans at some part would freeze during the night and unfreeze during the day oceans would still have a lot more life in them than the surface, but the more time passes, the less the Earth would be alive. So overall, we can see that if the Earth shrinked, it would have some fatal long-term consequences, and we should appreciate the size of the Earth that is now. If it was any bigger or any smaller in the beginning, we humans would probably never have existed, and we could not have talked about this right now.